I think that God could be the source from which all living things come. It is the source of all order and logic in creation. When one looks at, at a tree, for example, one can see the art, the artistry and the logic behind each leaf, each branch, and each layer of bark upon the tree. A, a tree is a highly, highly, highly advanced sort of living machine. And that living machine could only have been created by something that was just as alive and just as wonderful. That is God, I think. When man discovered God, he discovered a shapeless, featureless, endless entity with which he could not cope. And so, in order to handle the mystery of God, man reduced that mystery to a shape that he could recognize and therefore understand. Man reduced God to a human-like family, a family of God the Father, known by my people the Zulus as Unkulunkulu, which means the greatest of the great ones. And God the Great Mother, known by the Zulus as Numtubulwana, which means the plower of the many fields, the lady of many plowshares. And God the Son, known by the Zulus as Umvelingangi, which means the firstborn of the Almighty. This stone here is engraved with the ten great laws of the Almighty. And this serpent symbolizes one of the most important pillars of the traditional black religion, that is a belief in reincarnation, that that which lives now shall travel along the road of life, shall die only to resume the journey of life in another shape. This is the symbolism of the double spiral serpent. It's a symbolism of rebirth. Also, it is a symbolism of the secret road that, according to ancient tradition, was taken by people between this star system of ours, the solar system, and other solar systems. Because we are told there was a secret spiral road which you could travel from this earth of ours to other planets. But when man became aggressive and sinful, the gods closed the path of the many returns, as it was called. We are shown another spiral, but this time this spiral represents not the secret pathway between the stars, but the hidden force which lies under the earth, which can be harnessed by a Sanusi for the healing of people.